Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and I am over in One Hive Trinity. I'm going to be recording some attacks from the new clan, and as you guys know, we have One Hive Genesis, One Hive Alpha, a few smaller clans that really aren't war clans, they're just used for different purposes, which I won't name because uh, I want to prevent them from being spammed by join requests, but the point is we have a lot of clans and uh, we just added this new one and it might be kind of the third war clan in the family uh, along with Genesis and Alpha. We don't know exactly how it's going to shape up and uh, right now it has a ton of different people in it from recruits to leaders to second accounts, just all different types of people leveling it up. So uh, as, as quickly as, as we can get to level 5, that'll help out the uh, donations and everything. So anyway, having some good attacks from the wars. Um, not the most competitive wars in the fact that, well, first of all, we're not trying as hard as we would be in some wars because we're mainly, uh, have some recruits trying to show off their attacks. Uh, but still we've had some good wars, all green so far. So it'll be interesting to see how that continues. And uh, if we get matched up with a tough clan at some point, but we'll take a look at a few attacks and see kind of what these, uh, some of the recruits and what some of the uh, other members are doing in here. So sorry about that notification, I forgot to turn them off for this video, it happened. Uh, today is going to be kind of cool because we have both low level Town Hall 9 attacks and also Town Hall 8 attacks, which are two things that, especially Town Hall 8 attacks, it's been ages since I've shown some of those, but also the low level heroes are something we stopped seeing in Genesis pretty recently, or actually not even that recently, but it's been a while in Genesis since we've seen true low level heroes, not just, you know, level 20. 15, which is kind of the Genesis low-level heroes. So we'll look at that in a moment, but first we're going to take a look at uh, Daddy Guns, it looks like, and he actually has, you know, relatively mid to low-level heroes being 15, 16. Uh, coming in here with, I thought I thought this was kind of cool, he has kind of an HGHB, except uh, substitutes in the Valks, so kind of an HG, uh, HV almost. Uh, so it worked out really nicely, just kind of came through, dropped down that jump in the middle to let the troops continue on into these next little segments of the base. The queen goes up top, she will go down, but she gets some pretty good value. And uh, the Valks actually stayed pretty uh, close to the rest of the troops for at least the first part of the push here. Now at this point everything spreads out and there is the Testa farm at the top there, so it's going to be a little slower, things have to kind of work their way up. But the healers, one of the great things about this is you can see how there's this break in the action. The healers get pretty much everything back to full health um, in that period of time. So they're ready for a second assault on this base. Uh, the king's on the wall right there. The Valks are kind of heading around the outside. Still has the king's ability and he'll drop down those last few minions when the time comes for cleanup. But uh, just has to get through that wall right there. Drops down the heal on the Valks. So gets them, you know, stay, keeps them up a little longer. Some of the bowlers are able to target or at least they were targeting the Archer Tower for a moment. Uh, but anyway, the King busts through, and that air defense will go down, the healers will keep everything up. This one's a three star, so kind of a speed bump in the attack there, but at this point, uh, the troops are back up and running, and they'll get through the rest of this base pretty easily. So nice attack to Daddy Guns. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward. Is there a corner builder hut or something? Nope, just takes this long. Yeah, I guess he got pretty low on troops here, but that last bowler healer combo gets the job done. Uh, nice, nice attack. All right, let's move on um, to number 13. I believe this was a pretty cool attack. And I think someone was asking for some Go Valos in the comments a few videos back. So here you go. Um, this base pretty much is asking for it with those air defenses all being in that same location. Yeah, it's really asking for some kind of hybrid attack. Um, but anyway, nice base identification by Omar. And uh, he drops in those two golems with wizards back uh, behind everything. Creates a nice wide funnel for those Valks. Uh, drops in those wall breakers. Opens up that compartment right there. Here come the low level heroes. 10 queen, 14 king. So pretty low, but uh, goes ahead and brings the Valks because, and the bowlers also, because the heroes aren't doing a ton of DPS. So it's good to have other high DPS troops. Drops the heal, then the rage. Also has the jump. They'll get in there. They'll take out all those air defenses. And from here, it's just deploying the balloons and uh, using the hero's abilities because they are going to get quite a bit deeper into the base. 
Uh, you can see the bowlers are doing some good work. The queen even at level 10 is able to take out a few defenses. Has some hastes, which he drops to speed things up, especially with that air sweeper right there. Gets those balloons in there, gets on the archer towers, and uh, this base goes down very quickly. Uh, that last balloon got the expo, and all that's left is just the wizard tower and the sweeper as everything converges right there. So anyway, uh, awesome base identification, good execution, got the three star. We'll go ahead and fast forward to the end of this attack and keep moving. Okay, looks like a swag archer. Um, next base is 24. I think this was a pretty cool attack too, if I remember correctly. Um, Ghost Spy. And yeah, this was the, well, you guys will see at the end here. Don't want to spoil it for you guys, but um, just take a look at this. Once again, 1511, not the highest level heroes, uh, but drops down the giants with the healers on them. And uh, with just the two point defense there, they're pretty much going to stay at full health. Has the baby dragon for the funnel, the wizards, uh, nice and wide for those bowlers, which he has in the CC. Out comes the lava hound, but not too big of a deal for most of the troops. The queen might get stuck on it, but that's pretty much it. Drops down the rage, the jump, everything's moving. Rage could have been a little farther out, but um, not that big of a deal. And uh, the king's already getting out there into that next compartment as everything goes down. Right there, the lava hound pops because a few wizards helped out that queen, but has a poison in the area to take out the pups. And everything keeps moving. Um, just gets really deep into the space. And the, the thing is, the defenses aren't that low level. Um, I think a few of them, the expo, not maxed out. But for the most part, these were solid defenses. A lot of them are Town Hall 9 level. But even with these low-level heroes, he got deep into this base. And uh, you can see he has the Lava Hound and the 10 Balloons, which I think he was planning on using for the last little mini air defense that was at the bottom. But uh, what ended up happening is the air defense went down to some of his troops. So all that he really needs to deploy are the Balloons. And uh, this base is pretty much toast. You can see the defenses are all easily accessible just by the first target of these balloons. Has a swag lava hound left over. Not the first time I've seen it, but it's always cool when someone has that 30 troop space they didn't even need. Plus the haste spell. Drops that down. Uh, drops down a lava hound. This base is toast. Guys, a nice cleanup lava hound. Probably the most expensive cleanup troop in the game and the least amount of value. Probably would take the whole three minutes just to get through one of those uh, elixir collectors. So anyway, nice attack to Ghost Spy. We'll keep moving on. Have two Town Hall 8s to show you guys. Okay, back out here. And go to number 30. All right, uh, Champion Zeus. This is, I think this is their top Town Hall. Maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. No, actually, I don't think it was, but... Still max defense, no, not max defense. Some of those archer towers and cannons are under level. Um, one thing that I noticed was, I don't know if he needed the two golems. I'm not a big golem person at Town Hall 8. I think, not that I know a whole lot about it at this point because I don't see it that much, but I think you can bring more Valks, less golems. That works better. Um, that being said, I think the golems do tank a little bit for the CC troops and some of the defenses. So that works out nicely. Anyway, the Valks come in here. I think he had some Valks in the CC, which is always a good idea because they're so powerful at level 5. Uh, sends in a few Hogs here just to start taking out defenses while everything's being tanked. The Golem's moving in deeper to the base, triggering giant bombs, getting the Teslas. Uh, so clearing stuff out for the Hogs. He's going to save that one heal, I think, for the Hogs, which is a good decision. And just kind of let them wrap around the base here. Uh, no real spots for giant bombs left. And I think pretty much all of them have been triggered anyway. So uh, nice and patient on that heal right there. He drops it and uh, gets like a Valk also in it. So some good value. Anyway, though, a ton of hogs left up. As soon as they take out these last two defenses, they'll turn around, take out the skellies, then start on cleanup. Has some archers for the corner uh, buildings there and uh, some wizards going around for cleanup along with the hogs and some uh, like one Valk left up. So... Nice attack to Champion Zeus, getting the three star. We have one more Town Hall 8, and uh, it's actually not a hog attack. It's using some air troops, uh, which is something you still see because, um, as you guys know, you can now bring the two lightning spells, the quake, and then still have the rage and the haste to speed up your dragons. Back, you know, in the old days of Town Hall 8, 
you had to use all your spells if you wanted to lightning and air defense. Now you have two spells for your dragons. Not that, not that the haste is really that good, but it still works out okay. It speeds them up a little bit in case they need that. But the main thing is you have that rage, which helps out a lot. So it goes ahead and zaps down that air defense on the left. I think he might have gotten Archer Tower too. Uh, if that was the building that was next to it, I can't quite remember. But anyway, goes in there. The one baby dragon in the CC goes down real quickly. Uh, uses the spells in the middle. And uh, his dragons do kind of split on him. But the air defense goes down. Uh, both the air defenses that were up. And this base is pretty much toast because of that. One thing you might have noticed at the beginning that I liked is he dropped down those dragons on the corner builder's huts because they were going to be in those locations anyway for the funnel. So he, you know, eliminates the need to bring archers. And he also, he has the king for that corner builder hut. So all that's left is just the one on the left side, which he figures he'll have enough time for because I think he brought all dragons. So if he wanted to bring archers, he would have to drop an entire dragon to do so. Um, so just kind of his own preference. He calculated that he'd have enough time and he did so worked out real nice anyway nice attack to i think zeet this is um ton of dragons left up plus the king's ability uh nice job so anyway hope you guys liked the video uh one hive trinity hopefully will be uh up and running as a functional clan at some point another place for some new members to go kind of expand our our membership have more people in the clan family which is always fun and you know more inner clan scrimmages, all that good stuff, people to pull from for arranged wars. So look for One Hive Trinity to keep growing. And uh, as always, you guys can apply in the description below. The link's in there in case you guys want to join the growing family. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.